Good evening and welcome to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. And I'm back again for another shot at a beer review. Um, hopefully I can knock this one out of the park, to be fair. It's the last of Fancy 19, so this is the um, sticky black. For those of you who've got the, who've got the Fancy, it's the green one. Um, <coughs> sticky black weighs in at a hefty 11%. Yes, I know what you're going to say, Dave. You should be putting these away. But I've got a whole cupboard full of them. Um, and I thought, you know what? It's Sunday. Get an 11% down before Monday turns around. Um, best before the 4th of the 4th. 19. Says there. As I said on the on the last one, on the last review, the Porridge Head review. I like these cans. It was the Korean on them. They're really, really smart. Um, there was a delay in getting the fancy out because of the... Because of that, um, because of changing the label. Um, anyway, so sticky black there. ABV is eleven percent, as I just said. The uh, IBUs are fifty. Just read this off the fanzine card we get every every month. Original gravity is one point one zero five. Malts are pale, caramel malt, crystal, chocolate, and wheat. The oh, extra dark, extra dark crystal. Sorry, and beach smoked. Oh, extra dark crystal, beach smoked. Uh, Kettle Hops are Halito, Taurus, uh, East Kent Golding, additions of sugar, um, fenugreek and coffee. Fenugreek, it's a new ingredient on me. Certainly in beers anyway. Okay, so, <coughs> see what it's all about. 11% beer. I like my heavy ABVs. Really got into them lately. And as I said before, as I pop the top, the one thing Brewdog do are heavy do well is heavy ABV beers. Well, I thought that until I tried Evil Twin. Anyway, this is not as dark as I thought this was going to be. I generally thought this was going to be jet black. Uh, it may look like it from your side, but from mine, there's a little bit of light coming through it. It's got the look of a of a Coca Cola. Okay, so beer and glass. Let's see if we can get a bit of light in, in through it. It is red. It's a red ale. Yeah, it's a red ale. Um, I think I'll be using this camera angle again. I think I'll be moving it back to the... You can get the light. Red, right at the base of the glass here. I don't know if the camera can pick that up. Just a little bit here, see there. Where is it? There it is there. And uh, we've got a figure and a half of just light tad, dark ivory head. Various tight, compact bubbles. And there are, again, if the camera can pick it up. Bubbles, steamer bubbles rolling up into the head from the bottom of the glass. Yeah, see, it's, a, it's got a, in fact, it's got a bit of a purple hue to it as well. But certainly a red beer. So, it looks fantastic, it really does. Let's get a nose, let's see what we can smell. Oh, that smells good. Beard sugar. Touch of licorice. Roasted malt, tinge of coffee, a bit of tobacco, a bit of smokiness. It smells great. Oh, let's get a taste of cheers. Wow, that is so light. Oh, so light bodied, it's almost borderline watery. I wasn't expecting that. I thought it was going to be a nice, thick, it, chunky, gloopy thing, but it's not. Ugh. Carbonation is, it's there, it's, it's zingy, it, it, it pings and pops in your mouth. <coughs> it's not overly, overly carbonated. I, um, I don't know if I'm going to put a category to it, light to medium carb. This is the colour, actually, going back to the colour, this is the colour of a very strong tea. Coca-Cola, Daddy's Island Beard, that type of colour. <sighs> Taste-wise, though, it is absolutely sensational. You've got caramel, coffee, beard sugar, treacle, molasses, that type of caper going on. There is a touch of licorice. <coughs> There's a little bit of the alcohol popping through, just to remind you, 
This is the, this is a, a big boy's drink. It's an 11 percenter. <coughs> wow, this is good. This is very good. It's almost like the alcohol. <sighs> it's like that. Um, it's, it's fantastic. This is absolutely tremendous. I think it was a little bit heavier in the mouthfeel. It would be possibly world class. This is absolutely beautiful. There's a lot going on. It's complex. It's really well balanced. It's fucking delicious. Although you get a little bit of alcohol there here, you get just a, a winter warming sensation. Okay. Um, and that, that little touch of alcohol, if, it, if that was a little bit more well hidden, this is not a criticism. It was a little bit, if it was more hidden, when you couldn't taste it, this would be sessionable. At 11%, it'd be dangerously sessionable. Wow. It does have a hint of a dandelion of beer about it as well. Let's see if I can get a bit of an alcohol ring now. Sometimes you get a little bit of an alcohol sort of ring around the, around the edge. This is bloody gorgeous. So if you need to, you need to get hold of this, I know it's 11%, I know it's everyone's cup of tea. It'll probably be on offer in the Brewdog bars as we speak. Fantastic. That's up there with some of the best the best high ABV stuff that Brewdog do. It really, really is for me. And I've had a few of them. I've had a fair few of them. So, <sighs> sticky black, light bodied, medium carved, licorice, caramel, molasses, treacle, a little bit of berry there probably, I would imagine. A touch of smokiness, a bit of tobacco. Absolutely sound. Sensational. If you've had this beer, let me know what you think. Put a comment below. There will be a link to the uh, Brewdog website. Also below, where you can subscribe to these fanzines. It is eleven pounds a month, although I think at the moment it's still saying it's eleven pounds a fortnight, which is what it used to be. And you get three beers, three high quality beers. Um, delicious. I'll be this will knock me asleep. I'll be asleep in half an hour. Um, <clears throat> if you're watching for the first time, you like the video, please hit the subscribe button. If you're also watching here, someone you might enjoy it, please pass it on. Uh, let's try and get me subs up. If you are watching for the first time, please do that on the video. And do that if you don't like it. And I'll see you in the next one. This is delicious. Get it. Hey, Leo.